the property caught up with the Sri Lanka national coach Ellis Mission uh, before the Five Nations encounter, which is uh, supposed to begin on the 23rd of April. Uh, Mr. Ellis, uh, how have the boys been taking up for the Asian Five Nations? Uh, they've been they've been training very hard. Uh, they've been very dedicated in their training, and uh, we had a good final trial today. Uh, and they, they started to show the benefits of the, the training and the discipline that they've shown and changing the way that they approach the rugby. And also, you have, uh, you're have a person who has coached a lot of high profile teams um, uh, coming up from Romania as well. And uh, now, taking a look at Sri Lanka, how do you see them as a team when compared to the other teams you have coached before? Um, well, the Sri Lankan team, I suppose the difference is that here in Sri Lanka, the players don't start playing until a lot later. Um, and in other countries that I've coached, and then obviously in New Zealand, the, um, the boys start playing at a very young age, and they start playing on a full field at a very young age. Here in Sri Lanka, I understand that you don't really start playing on a full field until you're about 15 or 16. And even at that stage, you're not playing that long each way. Um, in New Zealand, for example, at the age of 12, you start playing on full fields for 30 minutes each way. Um, that gives you an awareness of space and it gives you a whole lot of different opportunities. So that's one of the biggest differences is that um, the, the players here have to adjust to a faster game when they play against other teams who are used to playing for a lot longer and have that experience. And also this is our first time we have uh, built a team for the, the main segment, segment of uh, the Asian Five Nations. Yeah. And uh, considering the other teams, how do you think our chances are uh, just prior to the tournament? Um, I think that we've got a good chance of winning at home. It's going to be very hot. The other teams will find that uncomfortable. Um, if we if we can stick to the to the patterns that we're trying to implement um, and and trust each other and, and play for each other and play for the other 20 million Sri Lankans, I'm sure that we'll give a good account of ourselves and that um, whatever the result, we're only going to get better. And also, just touching upon that home advantage, uh, Japan was a game which we were supposed to play away. Yes. And now we have uh, gotten them, they are, they are powerhouse in Asian rugby. Yes. And uh, suppose they are the only team to qualify for World Cup as well. Mm -hmm. So, we are playing them in the home ground here and FC. How do you think that will affect uh, our preparation and also the mindset of the boys before a big game like that? Um, I, I think it will be a very big challenge. Um, Japan are in the top 15 in the world. So um, hopefully it can be about 40 degrees. They'll be coming from Japan and hopefully it'll be about 10 degrees there and they'll get tired very quickly and, and we'll compete with them for a long time. I think the, the thing that uh, the Sri Lankan team and that I've been trying to get across to them is that we've got to concentrate on what we want to do and not react to what the other team does. So when we get the ball when we play any team, be it the United Arab Emirates, uh, Hong Kong, Kazakhstan, we've got plans on how we want to use the ball and what we want to achieve with the ball in certain parts of the field. And if we can do those things, uh, then as I said, we've given a good account of ourselves. And what do, you, what do you reckon as uh, our main strength of the team? Uh, is it are you, uh, more focused on going to the back for the line? Uh, what's the mixture of the team before the, the tournament? We've, we've tried to pick a, a, a forward pack that will complement the, the pace and the skills in the back line. Um, the forward pack is probably a little bit more mobile than normal. And, you know, obviously we've got some very exciting backs. We've got a very good seventh team and we've got some very good skills in the back. So we'll be looking to utilise those and complement them with some, some forwards that you know that their job is to provide good go for the backs to run on to. And how have the boys been uh, responding to your coaching? Uh, in um, yeah, they, they've found it tough. I mean, it's, um, it's a little bit different to what I've had. The, the fitness has been a big change for them. And, and training three times a day sometimes is um, they find it difficult to adjust to, especially with the heat. And um, there's not really any indoor facilities in Sri Lanka that you can train in, so we have to start training early. And then we use the gym in the middle of the day because it's air conditioned, and then we're back out on the field at evening. So there's been an adjustment, but they, I think they've enjoyed it. Um, they haven't told me about it. <laughs>
and uh, your predictions or what you are hoping uh, for your team or what do you think that they are capable of in the, in the tournament? What we're trying to do is um, our team goal is to score two tries in each half. So we know that if we score two tries in each half, we're going to get a bonus point at least. If we can score two, two tries in each half and have very good defence, we should win the games. That's all. Thank you. Okay, thanks a lot.